love my Saturday mornings. Dryden is gone all day and before he leaves he always brings me a cup of coffee in bed and I'm just gonna chill here for a while before I get on. Wow I can't speak. I'm gonna chill here for a while before I get on with my day. I've got Simon. Got Todd. Probably gonna read a good chunk of my book today this morning and then I should probably go make breakfast and do that kind of thing. I'm, I look so sleepy and puffy. I'm so sorry. But also I'm not because this is who I am. And I love me. look up a recipe and there's 10,000 pop-ups just oh my gosh I don't want to buy that I want to see the recipe Science rules. I actually have no idea why I have to form a reaction in my pancake batter, but it works, so why would I not? Pancakes are just simply one of the best foods. These are, of course, gluten-free and vegan, which is probably why, this is annoying, which is probably why I had to do a little science reaction just to kind of, but it's buckwheat flour, which has the word wheat in it, which is confusing, but it is gluten-free. It doesn't make sense. Hmm. Like this is my favorite pancake recipe. I can have it linked down below in case you're curious, but it's just my go-to. It's so easy to make. There's really only a handful of ingredients. Flour, tapioca starch, sugar, baking powder and apple cider vinegar, and then um, milk. You could add chocolate chips or something if you wanted to, but I don't know. I've been kind of just enjoying the pancakes doused in maple syrup, apparently, but that's the Canadian in me. I'm trying to think of what I want to get done today. And I think perhaps today is the day that I tackle some sewing projects. I have literally have sewing projects from probably like years ago. I for sure have some from the summer where like I needed to alter like a top or some shorts and I just didn't. So I have a number of things. I think if I can, if I pull out the sewing machine, then I want to do like the majority of things. Cause you know, I don't know. It's just a pain to get it out, put it away for one thing. So I'm going to try, there is a pair of pants 
One of my favorite pair of pants that I thrifted, they're like brown corduroys. So comfy, they fit really well, but the button fell off. So I got some button replacements from Amazon. I have no idea how to use them. Like, I don't think, like you don't need a sewing machine for those, but that's just one of the simple alterations that like can be done super easily. I've just been putting off. So I'm gonna finish my pancakes. And then I think, I think I'm gonna get ready because I do want to take some pictures today, get some content, and then, and then I think I'm gonna start on my sewing projects. I don't think the sun is gonna come out today, which is really disappointing, but either way, I'm gonna get some stuff done today. Literally, thanks to climate change, it has been abnormally warm. I think I mentioned this in my last vlog if you watched it, but like all of January was basically above zero when we're used to getting like minus 30, minus 20, even wind chill of minus 40 weather, but it has been like above zero and almost all the snow is gone now. And I don't know how to dress because it is like 100% spring weather, but even in my house, I'm sweating. Like I had to turn the temperature down but all I have in my closet right now are like thick sweaters and I just, I can't do that right now. But it just, it feels way too premature to like switch to my spring wardrobe. And I don't know, I don't know how to dress. Okay, here's what we're going with. I know that they are wrinkly. I just pulled them out of like my spring and summer basket, but like, I don't know, I'm just staying at home. And then I did compromise and put on a sweater. I can always change if it gets cold. But for now, this is what I'm going with. And I'm just gonna go sit down and sew some projects. So, let's do that. Y'all, I'm already sweating. But okay, here's kind of what I'm working on. I have this skirt that is too long for my small self. I have this tank top I thrifted that's just like a little bit too wide. This overall dress, which is also a bit too long. I'm short, what can I say? I have this I thrifted and I don't know how I'm going to fix it actually because it just has this tear. This is terrible lighting has this tear in the lace here but I really like the shape and the dress of it so I don't know I don't actually know another dress that the top just doesn't fit at all like my boobies are a little too big for these things so I think that I can turn it into a skirt it has these awesome like little pleats so I can probably like trim it at a at a band to it like a, an elastic band and call it a day what's wrong with this I'm missing a button oh shoot do I have the button who knows and then lastly is this is the pair of corduroys I was talking about that are just missing the button so I'm gonna have to add that so I can wear them that should be like the majority no I don't I don't think I'm gonna get it all done today but I'm gonna try my best I'm gonna try my best I had to throw on my favorite t-shirt and my glasses so that I can do this right I already have white thread loaded so what is white here I could do this tank top, but that also means that I'm gonna have to take it in. Oh, I didn't account for so much work. Let's try it. Let's try it. I got a sports bra on. Nobody panic. Put it on inside out. So it's like not bad. It's just like a little bit too loose. It is inside out, obviously, but it's a little too loose for my liking. Let's get my lovely tomato. No. This would be a lot better if I had somebody else. Okay. I love things that are like striped or patterned because it can kind of help act as a guide.
already literally so much better. I don't think I'm going to cut off the the inside, you know, because bodies fluctuate. And if I want to let it out in the future, then I can. But, and also, yes, everything is extremely wrinkled, okay? It's been sitting in a pile for a year. But this is cute. Obviously not with this bra, I know. But, yeah, like that literally took less than 10 minutes. And I've been putting it off for a year and a half, so. Okay, here's this skirt. Obviously, it's not like unwalkably long but I would like to maybe trim this bottom blue section just so it's just a little more a little less um restricting I think that would do wonders bobbin ran out of thread when I was literally this far away from being done my strip and you know what's worse I'm almost completely I'm almost completely out of white thread which means I can't fill my bobbin which means that I'm done sewing for the day I am sad because who knows how long it's going to take me to go and get more thread to finish what I started. It's gonna take, I don't know how you sewing girlies do it. Like I have very basic knowledge and I'm proud of my knowledge because I can fix things. I can get things done. However, this happens and then I spiral. So. I'm doing this like, um, well, obviously I post, this is in the way, obviously I post covers to YouTube and to TikTok and to Instagram and stuff. So this is a little BTS. I'm trying to, I need to do more things with my hands while I sing. So I froth, my cream, my milk is frothing. I'm going to make an espresso while I sing. Ask them my questions and get some answers. What's a fire and how does it, what's the word? Burn away. The only problem with this is I have one take. I obviously cannot make my latte again and I don't want to be drinking several lattes. So I'm gonna listen to that back and pray for the best. If not, we'll try again tomorrow. church fit featuring all of my abandoned projects hey oh we're gonna go to church and then i have to do a little bit of grocery shopping after so 
figured I'd take you along with me for the ride. I like to just get a handful of things usually on Sundays um, like mostly vegetables because that way I have fresh vegetables for the week and I don't have to kind of try and make vegetables last uh, two plus weeks um, got some kale mushrooms oops, wraps and bread for my husband cucumbers peppers Vegan feta, a big thing of cherry tomatoes because I eat, eat them like candy, honestly. Some butter and some sesame oil. I ran out, that's my little haul. I desperately need to eat lunch though and get into some comfy clothes because like, I don't know, I don't like to be in jeans like any longer than I need to be. Also, I think it's gonna be hair wash night tonight, which means I might just do like a, um, almost everything shower or more like everything post shower because I'll wash my hair but then I also want to dermaplane and maybe gua sha after I don't know why I said it like that I don't know what happened I guess we'll see we'll see where the night takes me but for now I'm gonna put this away and eat because I'm starving mm -hmm. 